What is up YouTube and welcome to this American Horror Story Season 7 Episode 3 Review and Breakdown. So this was, I would say, an improvement on last week's episode which just felt a real muddy and messy in my opinion because it, it just felt really, really iffy and it felt like it didn't really know what it was trying to do. But last week I did mention the fact that our resident absolute trigger monkey is just really turning into the thing that she hates and that's what i mentioned it does seem like they are tr well she is slowly morphing into what she doesn't want to be and what she absolutely hates especially with the shooting that happened last episode and well she is this does seem to be kai's aim kai is aiming to destroy everything that she loves, building or breaking her down as some sort of experiment, which I find incredibly weird. I'm not really sure why he's trying to do this. Is he just trying to prove that he can do this and that it just takes one bad day and that is what creates what people hate? Like, maybe it could be Donald Trump, it could be any other sort of really controversial politician or public figure and that one bad day could affect their thinking forever and that is why people start to hate them so he maybe he's trying to create some kind of experiment there and what is weird as well with this cold opening we see a another couple who is in the psychiatrist office but they are a couple we haven't actually seen yet and she has a fear of claustrophobia and small spaces they go home start to get freaky but they are attacked by the clown cult they're they are marked with the smiley face and they are put in coffins which obviously is you know what she hates and it does seem like that this psychiatrist is involved as well now not only have we have got kai's experiment like i mentioned about what he wants he wants to create her into something which she hates herself but we've also now got this weird insight into the fact that this whole thing with a psychiatrist he could be getting people who are close to being cured and then ruining them in some way by actually leading them towards the cult so we haven't actually outwardly seen what the cult is just yet because we're, th we're three episodes in we haven't seen really we haven't seen any cult so we've got kai and we've got this psychiatrist who seem to be involved with a lot of things here and i'm not really sure where this lies and where this is going next because originally we did think that the clowns were just inside the head but we did see them properly in the claustrophobic girls room that's what brought them into the coffins so it the show is slowly getting weird it seemed like at first this was one of the less weirder seasons and a lot more kind of straightforward but now we have got the introduction of a lot of different variables so it seems like the family are being attacked from every single angle and they don't really have a main kind of enemy whatsoever they don't really have one person who's seemingly pulling the strings behind all of this however the person behind the murder of meadow does seem to be kai so he does seem to be the one who instigated meadow's husband to actually go and murder her for for whatever reason we don't know we know that the lesbian couple they are marked as well and this certainly means that if you get this smiley face on your house, that means you are marked for death. We also have the mysterious tanker that's going through the, through, through the street, and it's got the gas as well. So we've got another variable added in as well. So we've got the psychiatrist, we've got Kai, and we have the clowns, as well as this weird canister kind of tanker thing that has a creepy kind of green gas that is spraying absolutely everywhere so this gas is green and it's funny enough i've seen online a few theories that it could be linked to the mint green tea so when they're in the restaurant they start to eat or see this mint green tea which to me that sounds disgusting that that just 
sounds like the worst kind of ice cream. That's like the one, the boring one that people go for. Or when I worked at an ice cream stand, that was what no one ever went for whatsoever. So that is green as well. It's got the same color as the gas, but I think that might be reading just a bit too much into that. And I can't really see that that is or going to be doing anything. There is a theory that she is being gaslighted, which means she's slowly having things put into her head and being manipulated, which she probably actually is, but not by not by her partner whatsoever. Because why would her partner let her get cheated on or got, get kind of with Winter? It's just really odd that they would do that. But there is a lot more to this. So they're introducing a lot more variables, which I think are going to come to a head at some point. But this was a good episode. And I have to say, I could have done without the hamster or whatever that animal was being blown up. And we've got Colton Haynes' detective character also with the neighbor across the street. And I have to say, when the neighbors came over on the to actually talk to her and confront her about the shooting have to say, I thought they would be joking. I thought these would be kind of like people who you think are liberal but are actually right-wing. But no, that is not what we got. We got them having a weird kind of making a stand there, which I have to say, that is why I felt last week's episode was really messy because I couldn't put a handle or get a, get a finger for the pulse on those two characters and what made them tick. But one of them's now dead and one of them probably will actually go away in prison for some reason. And it does seem like maybe Kai is actually kind of helping Ali or helping her out for some reason because we've got the variable of him actually doing the pinky swears with the couple. So I'm not sure, is he trying to get by? Is, does he, is he actually kind of righteous? Is he trying to help her out and get rid of all of her fears and actually get those people killed because they were harassing her? I don't know. It seems like they are behind everything or they were they were involved with a cult. So it is really messy. It's up in the air as to what is going on in this show. But I've got to say that Kai is different. Kai and the psychiatrist are somewhat involved with this clown cult. And the reason we haven't really heard about these clowns from anyone else. So the cult isn't really out there. It's just that there is a killer on the loose. And I have to question why was Colton Haynes character with the couple as well it, it's getting a bit messy but I think that this episode did a decent job of kind of ironing it out and not making it too messy when it it is confusing at the moment it is it is up in the air but it wasn't as kind of jumbled as last week's episode so that is it for this video please you drop a like please you subscribe and I'll see you soon goodbye